Welcome back to our math review. So this week we are going to spend a lot of time working on a number that has three digits. That's going to have a hundreds, tens, and ones. I have used a couple of these numbers before, but we're going to do a lot more work throughout the whole review getting ready for second grade. So I got my ten blocks and my hundred blocks and my one blocks today just to show you an example with the blocks. So I'm going to build this with the blocks and then I'm going to show you how to do it with the pictures. So we have our hundred, we have one group of hundreds, this is a hundred little cubes. And then we're going to get our tens. And in each one of these there are ten little cubes, so we have ten, twenty, and then we need three cubes, three little ones. So that's building with our longs and our hundred blocks and our ones with our cubes. So just so you can see what they look like. Now you can get your marker and I want you to fill it in with the hundreds, tens, and ones that we've done before. So do that now, pause the video and do that and figure out if it's odd or even. Go. All right, so let's go through. We have 123. I'm going to draw a large square for my 100. Just like our 10s, I'm just drawing our longs like that, two longs. And then for our 1s, I'm drawing circles. Then I'm going to group them into pairs to see if they are odd or even. So I see I can group these two into a pair, but there's one left over, so that means my number is odd. So the number 123 is an odd number. Now, using our 123, fill in your chart for hundreds, tens, and ones. Go. All right, so let's look at our hundreds, tens, and ones. We have 100. We have two tens. And we have three ones. Now, looking at this, we're going to move into our expanded form. So on your expanded form, write out 100, what 100 would equal, plus your two tens, plus your three ones. So remember, when you get to your tens, you're counting by tens for those two tens. Do that now. Go. Okay, so you should have unpaused the video and everything should be ready to go. So we had 100 plus two tens, which is we would count by 10, 10, 20, plus our three ones. So 100 plus 20 plus three equals 123. Now using our 123, we're going to find minus 10 plus 10 minus 1 plus 1. And remember, even though we have the 100 spot, the 100s will not be changing throughout this. So that's always going to stay the same because we're only going to be focusing on those 10s when we're subtracting the minus and plus 10. And then the 1 spot will be minus 1 and plus 1 will be in that 1 spot. So pause the video and complete that now. Go. All right, so this should be done. So let's do a quick review. Our 100 is staying the same. We're gonna minus the 10. So the 100 stays the same. Because we're focusing on the 10 spot, that one is the one that's gonna be changing. So that means our one spot is gonna stay the same. We had two 10s. We're gonna minus the 10. So two minus one equals one. So 123 minus 10 equals 113. Now 123 plus 10 more. Remember we're keeping, we're focusing on that 10 spot so the hundreds stay the same. The ones are staying the same and we're focusing on that 10 spot. So we had two tens plus one more 10. So two plus one more equals three. 123 plus 10 equals 133. 
Now we're doing 123 minus 1. So we're going to be focusing on the 1 spot. So that means that the 100 stay the same and the 10s are going to stay the same. So I'm going to put those in. And then I'm going to figure out 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. 123 minus 1 equals 122. Now we're going to do plus 1. So once again, we're only focusing on the 1 spot. So that means that the hundreds and the tens stay the same. So what is 3 plus 1 more? 4. 123 plus 1 more equals 124. Now we're going to find the missing number, so pause the video and do that now. Go! Alright, so this is once again just a review of those number patterns. 2 plus blank equals 10. 2 plus 8 equals 10. Blank plus 3 equals 9. 6 plus 3 equals 9. 4 plus, eight, four plus blank equals 8. 4 plus 4 equals 8. And that is a double fact, a number by itself that you add together. All right, balance both sides, so solve what the first equation equals. Create another equation to equal the same amount. Pause the video, do that now. All right, so four plus six equals 10. It's a 10 fact, and then I'm going to create another one on the other side, so I'm gonna do three plus seven equals 10 and you can use any 10 fact that you wanted. Now we're going to work on put them in order. What I did include this time, I did include a number with 100, so look at that and make sure you look and see that this has three numbers. There's 100s, 10s, and 1s. It's a larger number. So put those in order now. Pause the video. Go. All right. So what I notice, two digit, two, a tens and a one, tens and a one. This one has a hundred tens and a one, tens and a one. So I'm gonna start the smaller ones first. Five tens, seven tens, three tens. So 38 is the smaller of the three. So we're going from smallest to largest. Then I'm looking at these two numbers because they are smaller because they only have two numbers, two numbers, two digits. And I notice that five tens are less than seven tens. And then I look at my seven. And I notice that a hundred is the largest because it has three digits. It has a number in the hundred spot. So the numbers are 38, 56, 74, 100 in order from smallest to largest. Now we're also working more on those hundreds, like I said from the beginning. So we're going to compare greater than, less than, and equal to. So pause the video and do that now. All right. So we notice that there are three numbers, a hundreds, tens, and one, hundreds, tens, and one, in both of these. So we go right to the hundreds. I have 100 and 101, and I have 200 and 200. So that one is larger. 200 is larger. So 101 is less than 200. Here we go, same thing we see. So I'm gonna touch, there are 300s and 364, and there is 100 and 189. So 300s is bigger than 100. So 300, 64 is greater than 189. And then we notice we have two numbers down here. They both have two numbers, two digits. So I look at 36, three tens. 63 has six tens. 63 is the larger number. So 36 is less than 63. Now we're moving on to our whole part part. On this one, I want you to break it down into tens and one's extra practice that we've been doing with our double digit adding. So we want to 
definitely practice that more. So right now I want you to break 31 into the group of tens and then to the ones. Pause the video and solve the equations with that as well. Go. All right. So 31 would be broken down into 30 and 1. And then we would write 30 plus 1 equals 31. And then 31 minus 1 equals 30. Now we have our fact family. We have 32, 2, and 30. So the larger numbers are whole number. That means our two smaller numbers are our part numbers that need to go together to make our larger number. So create the four equations for the fact families for 32, 2, and 30. Go. Alright, so once again we're going to take those two smaller par parts when we're adding. So 2 plus 30 equals 32. Then we're going to do the reversals. 30 plus 2 equals 32. Then we're going to do our subtraction with our whole number, larger number first. 32 minus 2 equals 30. 32 minus 30 equals 2. Now we're moving on to our time. So on our clock, let's write down the time we see. Remember, our smaller hand is our hour, and our hour always goes first, and then our longer or larger hand is our minutes, and that one goes last. So do the time now. Go. So I notice that our hour hand is pointing directly at the 5, pointing right at that 5. So I'm going to be putting the 5. And then I notice that when my minute hand points at the 12, I write o'clock. So it is 5 o'clock. Alright, now pause the screen and complete the fractions. Go. So I'm going to start with the circle, and I'm going to cut it into four equal pieces. And then I'm going to color in two-fourths of that, or two-quarters. And then I'm going to cut my rectangle into thirds, or three equal pieces. And then I'm going to color in one-third of those. Now I'm adding this one this time. We're going to start working on skip counting. So today we're going to work on skip counting by twos. So because this is new, we're just going to do it together today. And then from now on, then I'll pause it and you'll pause it and you can do it by yourself. So you can either write the numbers out or you could just say them with me. So I skip count by two. So two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. And we're going to stop there for that. Now we're moving on to our math equations. So before you do these problems, make sure that you've watched the video on that I, I put on that works with regrouping. So if you've watched that video, then you are ready for this. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to pause them and you can do them either way. You can do them the long way or the short way, whatever way you want to. So pause the video and do those now. All right, so you should have done these either whichever way you wanted to, the long way, the short way. And make sure you've watched the regrouping video on the math problems. So I'm going to go through them quickly. 65 plus 26 is 91. 35 plus 47 is 82. 52 plus 19 is 71. And 17 plus 38 is 55. All right, that is all for today. See you tomorrow.